Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, in this video, you're going to learn about just what exactly is an integer. On the first page, I want you to follow along with me, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end, you can see how you did. So what exactly is an integer? Well, take a look at this number line here, where we have zero in the beginning, and then to the right, we have positive numbers, one, two, and three, and then to the left, we have negative numbers, negative one, negative two, and negative three, okay? These are all, in fact, examples of integers. Um, some real-life examples could be, say, speed limits, okay? Say if you're going down uh, a highway and the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. Well, 65, well, that's a whole number, so 65 is an integer. So here's the actual definition I want you to write down. So an integer is a whole number. That can be positive, negative, or zero. All right, so an integer is a whole number that could be positive, negative, or zero. Okay, and this is a key, a key part of this. Okay, an integer cannot be a fraction. All right, so it's a non-fractional number. So let's say non-fractional number. All right, so an example of an integer could be say the number 17, okay? Or the number say uh, 18 and so on. Um, these could also be negative 17 or negative 18. But an example of a non-integer would be something like say uh, one fourth that makes it a fraction. All right, so one fourth is not an integer. So now that you, now that you understand this, what exactly an integer is, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn uh, now problems, and then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. Welcome back. Let's say I do with these problems. So the first part you had to identify which of the following are integers. So remember, an integer is not a fraction. So 3 fourths definitely is not an integer. Where negative 5, well that's a whole number, so that's our first integer. Um, 0 0.23 or 23 hundredths, well that's a fraction, so that's not an integer. Uh, negative 5, again we have the same one, so we'll circle that one. Uh, 14 is an integer. Uh, 5, 6 is not. Negative 12 would be an integer. 46 is an integer. And then finally, negative 6 sevenths would not be an integer. Okay? And then you had to write down two real life um, examples okay, of, of integers. And for me, uh, I could say the number of runs scored in a baseball game. So I could say runs scored. Or say the, uh, the temperature on a thermostat. So for example, let's say the temperature was 45 degrees. Well, 45 is a uh, whole number, which makes it a integer. It's not a fraction. How'd you do?